Welcome back, my senior high learners. I hope that everyone is safe in a comfortable place in your house as we learn new things in our episode today. I am your teacher, Rolly Manayan, and welcome to our subject, Health Optimizing Physical Education. Today's episode will be divided into two lessons. Lesson 1 is about developing a home-based family workout and evaluation. And Lesson 2 is about a self-organized home-based fitness activity. After going through this lesson, you are expected to 1. Identify the methods in developing an individual or group physical activity. 2. Distinguish the factors and serve as your basis in developing home-based physical activity. And number three, participate in self-organized home-based fitness activity. Let us begin with our first lesson. Exercise is a physical activity that is planned, structured, and repetitive for the purpose of conditioning any part of the body that is used to improve health and maintain fitness. Generally, you work up a sweat, breathe heavily, and increase your heart rate during exercise. It appears that in the new normal, we will be staying at home as much as possible to avoid public places and contact with many people. For anyone who is trying to stay calm and boost their immune systems, staying at home poses another challenge. Staying active may require some new routines. Stopping the spread of COVID-19 may take unprecedented changes in our daily routines, but staying healthy through it all is still a priority. Physical activity is essential to optimize health so, it is a good idea to prepare for working out on your own. In the past modules, you have tackled different fitness-related principles involving physical activities as well as the different fitness components relevant in improving one's health. Specific physical movements and their targets are no longer new to you. You can now create your own home-based workout for your family with the knowledge that you have gained. The first thing you have to do is gather your participants. Encourage your family members or anyone staying with you to actively participate in this workout as it will benefit one's health enormously. List down the persons who will participate in this exercise and have their signatures beside their names. Like this one for example. This answers the question, who will be involved in the workout? The second thing to do is to know your target. You probably already know that setting workout goals is important, but did you realize that there are both short-term and long-term fitness goals that you need to set? For short-term goals, start with small goals that you can reach easily. It's easier to stay with something when you have success early and often. And for long-term goals, these are large goals that you want to reach in 6 to 12 months. It will help you stay motivated if you track your progress and you get to update your goals as you move forward. For this part, your target should only include your short-term goals as the long-term goals may not be applicable to this module yet, but you might want to consider it in the reflection part of this module. Example, short-term. In the next few weeks, I will work out three times a week at 6 a.m. This states the frequency and time of the workout plan. The third thing you need to do is to choose your muscular and cardiovascular strengthening exercises. List down the activities that you think will best suit your physical exercise. If you do not have an equipment available at home, you can still reap the benefits of strength training from bodyweight exercise programs. By doing bodyweight exercises, you utilize your own weight for strengthening specific muscle groups. You can also use water bottles and other similar items as your weights. Indicate at least three for muscle strengthening exercises, like for this example, and one for cardiovascular. You could list push-ups. Here's how to get into proper push-up position. First, on the ground. Set your hands at a distance that is slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Your feet should be set up in a way that feels right and comfortable in a balance. Think of your body as one giant straight line. Your head should be looking slightly ahead of you, not straight down. Squat jumps. For jump squats, stand with your feet shoulder width apart. By doing a regular squat, engage your core and jump up explosively. 
When you land, lower your body back into the squat position to complete one rep. Make sure that you land with your entire foot on the ground. Be sure to land as quietly as possible. And sit-ups for muscle strengthening. And for sit-ups, lie face up on the floor. Bend your knees so your feet are flat on the floor. Cross your arms over your chest. Use your ab muscles to lift your back off the ground. With immense control, lower yourself back in the starting position. Once you're lying face up again, re-engage your core and start another rep. Repeat until you finish your set. And for cardio, you could be jumping jacks. Here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to do jumping jacks correctly. First, your initial position. Stand up straight, your hands on your side, and feet together, and your head kept straight. Second, make a little jump and put your feet on the side. Simultaneously, raise your arms from the side and take them over your head. Third one, return to the initial position. In a reverse motion, jump and land on your feet together and bring back your arms, hands on the side. This completes one rep. Running in place. Running in place is definitely the easiest. Start standing with feet keep distance apart. Lift one foot, then the other to jog in place, working your legs and increasing your heart rate. Or even burpees. This is how to do a burpee with correct form. First one, start in a squat position with your knees bent, back straight, and your feet about shoulder width apart. Second, lower your hands on the floor in front of you so they are just inside your feet. Third one, with your weight on your hands, kick your feet back so you're on your hands and toes. Keeping your body straight from head to heels, do one push-up. Do a frog kick by jumping your feet back to their starting position. Stand and reach your arms over your head. Jump quickly in the air so you land back where you started. As soon as you land with your knees bent, get into a squat position and do another repetition. This will identify the specific types of exercises you will include in your plan. Following the fit principles of physical activity, you have now created your home-based workout. If you have noticed, you were not asked to include intensity in your plan. Since you are considered a beginner, you should be using the intensity level of moderate to vigorous. For the next part of the lesson, you will need a pen and a paper. Fill this table with these physical activities that you may engage into and categorize them into three types by putting them in the appropriate column. Time's up. Now let's check your work. For light activities, slow walking, cooking food, washing dishes, putting away groceries, child care, mild stretching, and playing billiards. For moderate activities, brisk walking, weight lifting, cleaning house, gardening, and doing yoga. And for vigorous activities, walking upstairs, jogging or running, bicycling, swimming, jumping rope, and playing basketball. 
no one can deny the importance of practice in learning or reinforcing the concepts we learn, whether it's in high school, college, sports, extracurricular, or even life in general. And this is precisely why we love what Anton Chekhov had to say. Knowledge is of no value unless you put it into practice. In this part, you will perform your own created home fitness activity with your family members or with anyone staying with you at home. Remind yourself to document your performance and take pictures to serve as your mode of verification. Here are the directions. Performance must include the exercises chosen in Lesson 1. Performance shall not be more than 30 minutes as you and your co-performers are considered beginners. The more performers, the better, but social distancing and other safety measures must be observed in accordance with the COVID-19 safety protocols. Cardiovascular exercises must cover at least 50% of the performance. Be reminded to document your performance and take pictures to serve as your mode of verification. You may use this rubric to score your performance. And for the last part of the lesson, let us try to answer these questions. Again, you will need your pen and your paper. Now, let us answer. Question number one. Which among the given exercises could not be considered as a cardiovascular endurance activity? A. Cycling B. Jogging C. Push-up D. Walking The correct answer is letter C. Number two. Which among the activities is considered a muscular endurance activity? A. Arm stretching B. Planking C. Running D. Weightlifting The correct answer for this one is letter A. Arm stretching Number 3 Jen, a teenage girl, is a highly inactive person but does not have any physical or medical health issues. One day, she realized she needs to be physically active. Which type or level of activity can she best start with? A. Light B. Moderate C. Vigorous or D. High The correct answer for this one is Letter B, moderate. Number four, this answers the question, how long should you exercise? A, frequency, B, intensity, C, time, or D, type. The correct answer is letter C, time. And for the last question, number five, exercising for three to four days a week sets the blank in your fitness program a frequency b intensity c time or d type the correct answer is letter a frequency and to extend your fitness commitment to your family and to your community in your free time here are the other online fitness activities that can be considered in the time of pandemic you may want to start encouraging your friends in social media to join you in your fitness advocacy. Ask when they are available to join you in your online physical activity, whether it's a Zumba session, circuit training, or any other physical activities or exercises you may perform online. Or you may participate in any organized event online that focus on addressing health, fitness issues, and other concerns. There you have it! I hope you have learned and enjoyed our lesson today. Always remember, a healthy body makes a healthy mind. Join us as we engage in different physical activities. Not only do engaging physical activities awaits you, but also additional learnings toward achieving an active and healthy lifestyle. Again, this is Rolly J. Manayan Jr., your best hope teacher. Bye-bye.